Um, all right, rotate your necks. Switch. Arm circles. Switch. Ready? Side to side. Hugs. Good. Rotate your hips. Give me just a second. Good, switch directions. Good, all right, knees slightly bent, shoulder width apart, go ahead and hang. Slowly rock side to side. Good, feet wide, break at the knees side to side, keep your toes pointed forward. Now point one toe up. Good, walk your hands forward, hips to the floor, rotate your hips back and forth. Walk back. Stretch out as needed. Walk your hands forward, hips low, side to side. Walk back. And walk forward. Hips low, side to side. And walk back. So we'll plot a position. Stretch out over your knee. Switch. 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 Switch and rock up. Switch. That was one of the shorts today. Switch. And switch. Good, grab the back of your hamstrings. Rocking chair, bend in your back. Your chin tuck, keep your back bent. And just rock back and forth. Now rock a little more on your head. Make sure you're stretching that neck out a little bit.
Good, now we're gonna go over our alternate shoulders and push it off the floor. Again, keeping that rocking chair motion, you should come all the way up and rock all the way back. Should be easy, your body should almost do it for you. Good, now we're gonna go back and hold and we're gonna straddle, coming forward. Back and hold. Forward and straddle. Rock back and hold. <laughs> Forward and straddle. Rock back and hold. Forward and straddle. Good. All right. Let's get our shrimp on. Sliding shrimps. Reverse shrimp back. Sliding shrimp. Reverse shrimp. <laughs> Good, power shrimp, knees point, hips blast up, a shrimp back. Knees point, hips up, shrimp back. Reverse shrimp. Good, power shrimp. Reverse shrimp. Good, shrimp and pummel. Pummel. Shrimp, pummel. Shrimp, pummel. Up on one hand, slide forward. Good. Shrimp, pummel. Shrimp, pummel. Shrimp, pummel. Come up on the other hand. Slide forward, pummel your legs. Switch directions. Good, scissor. Good, bridge. Okay, starts just like the power shrimp. We're gonna tuck our elbow and come up to our knees. Knees point to my right, I'm bridging up. My elbow tucks, I come up to my knees. Sit back on my bottom, other direction. Up, elbow in, feet switch, up to my knees. Back to the right, up, Elbow, switch. Finally to the left. Up, elbow, switch. Good. Now we're gonna do our bump and roll. We're gonna trap the arm, trap the leg with our right hand. Head swivels left. I'm gonna bump up over my shoulder and turn. 
It's time, left arm traps, right leg traps. My head, pendulums to the right. I bump up over my shoulder and turn. Right, right, head, pendulums left. Bump up over my right shoulder, turn. Left, left, head, pendulums right. Bump up over my left shoulder and turn. Arm bar escape. We're bridging up on our head this time. Okay, my right arm goes, I bridge up, I walk over my left shoulder. Left arm goes, I bridge up, walk over my right shoulder. Right arm goes, up, walk over left shoulder. Left arm goes, bridge up, walk over my right shoulder. Good. Elbows in. Okay, we're gonna get to our knees and we're gonna work that uh, sprawling sit out with this, all right? So I'm gonna power bump, swim my underhook inside, bump again to free my head, switch my feet, come up on the single leg, okay? If I step my left, if my head's on the inside, right? And my left leg is in, on the outside, I'm gonna step my left leg, Roll my head out to the left. Get my sit out. Other direction. Bump up, underhook. Bump again to free the head. Switch your feet. Come up on the single. Okay. Leg post, head rolls out. I sit. Back to the original side, okay? We're gonna be underhooking with our left arm. So I bump up, underhook left. Okay, bump again to free my head. Switch my feet. My left leg is gonna post. My head rolls to the left, and I sit. Now we're gonna be underhooking with our right arm. Bump, underhook. Bump to free the head. Switch your feet. Single leg. Right leg steps out. Okay. Left hip slides through. And I sit. All right. Standing in base. Up. Up. Good, now to my knee. Now switch sides. Standing in base, up. Up. And up. Now to my knee. My knee, one more time, to my knee, good, <laughs> all right, sitting out, okay, my opponent is in front of me, good body lock position, okay, I'm going to be all the way down at first, I'm going to pop up, I'm going to step my leg out, Hook the arm, come through, All right? Here, here, hook, come through. All right, Armando, let's show him real quick. Good, if they're here, if he has a loose head and arm as well, right? I'm not gonna go toward the arm that's around my neck, okay? I'm gonna sit out. The arm or it's around my armpit. If he has a body lock, I can pick a side, whichever side I feel is easiest. Leg post, arm comes back. I set into him to reverse the position. 
All right, let's try it. Starting all the way down, pop, popping up, sit. Sit, keep going. <laughs> Good. All right. Now on all fours. Same thing. I'm just starting. Starting here. One. Two. Keep going. Three. When you've done four, stop. Good. All fours here. On the toes, one, two, three, four, and you've done four, stop. Good. All right, now we're going to work on the uh, The leg over, right? So I'm rolling over my shoulder. I roll over my right shoulder. My left foot comes to the floor. My right knee goes underneath. If I'm going left shoulder, right foot goes to the floor, left leg comes underneath. Okay, let's do that a few times. All right, now, um, Armando, come here. So we use this, if somebody's maybe passing or they're north and south, right? And I can get this frame. I'm framing with my elbows, kind of making sure there's enough space with my head. I don't want my head all the way under his hips because then he just pushes my hips down and he's good. So I need my head like at his upper chest area. Okay, I'm building my frame here. My legs come up and cross. And then I pivot, right? Okay, now that's what we just did. Okay, now we're gonna add the reverse shrimp with that. Okay, this is something I went into a lot of detail on early on. Or not a lot of detail, I'm sorry. This is something I did flyby coverage on early on. Um, but we're going to go into a little more detail now. So we're here. Okay, sometimes I can't get my knee in for the regular elbow escape, all right? So I can use my reverse shrimp here to kind of create that north-south relationship. Here like this. You see how he's kind of in north-south now? My elbows frame, my feet come up, and I turn. Okay, so if you're doing it solo, it looks like this. I'm in side control. I'm shrimping away, hips here, right? I'm rolling up onto my shoulder, putting my leg to the ground and turning. So it's the same drill we just did. We're just adding the reverse shrimp in front and giving some context to the movement. All right, let's do it. Once you've done four, stop. Good. 
All right. Now, um, this is one of the tougher techniques I think uh, we've learned. It's from the front headlock position, okay? A, a, a nice and a tighter front headlock than before, all right? It's how to get to guard from there, okay? So, one thing I do, front headlock here, right? I need to step my leg. So if this arm is on this side of my neck, the other arm's under the armpit, right? So I'm here. I'm gonna step my left leg out because his arm is choking on the left side. I'm always defending the neck, all right? Now from here, I'm gonna lift my toes off the floor and put my head to the ground as much as I can. Bringing my head back to my knee. See how my foot swivels in? Once I do that, I'm not sitting forward. I'll be too far underneath him. I need to sit back to pop my head up, all right? So from this angle, left leg is up. I can use, I pivot this foot in. Head goes to the floor to the knee. I sit back onto my hip to pop my head out. So Armando, come here for a second. Head and arm. His arm is over the left side of my neck. So I'm gonna post up my left leg. Here, okay, foot comes up, head goes to the floor, starts to slide back. My head pops out, I pull him into guard. All right, let's do that four times and then stop. Good, okay. Now, shoulder rolling, right? My opponent's on my right side, my left leg posts up, my arm shoots through, my hips shoot up to their elbow. I roll from my right shoulder to my left and then down, like this. Okay, so when Armando's over here on my side, it looks something like this. Okay, he's on my left side, so I'm gonna post my right leg up, bring my left arm through, roll over my left shoulder, then my right shoulder. My hips go up into his armpit. I don't want my hips down by his hips. All right, so let's try it. You've done it four times. Take a breath. All right. To break up the rolls a little bit because I know some of us got a little dizzy yesterday doing it. Um, we're gonna go with that inside leg stand up, okay? If you remember, Armando has me body locked from behind. I'm gonna step the leg that's inside up because I don't want him to take my back. My elbow comes in, okay? I'm gonna stand and I'm immediately gonna start working to break his hands apart and protecting, especially after I break the hands apart, that he doesn't go seat belt and put his hooks in. Okay, I don't want the hooks in. Hand goes to my back pocket. I turn and face. Okay, let's do that two times on each side. It's gonna look like this, right? Inside leg comes up, I'm here. Hands low, break the hands, stuff in my pocket, turn and face.
what do you call this sprawl variation that you do? What did I say this one was? Um, you have an intro? I just call it a shot block. Okay. Yeah, um, Donovan calls it a shot block. Shot block, shot block. I mean, he was saying, like, he, he does that first, and then if he needs to sprawl, he sprawls knees. And then he'll sprawl foot pressure. I don't know if you were talking about it. Oh, we're taking it back by the sprawling knees. Yeah, I don't like sprawling knees. I'll do like a, like if I can catch him, like a little catch yeah. right there. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, his really second cool. sprawl was like here. Yeah. And like like what we call it down block, I, I call it hand sprawl now. It's like if you're shooting in and I like catch you with right. right my hands. Right. That's what I would call down block. So okay. I'm kind of circling around. All right. Right. If you beat your hands, then. Now let's work on our uh, standard stances, right? A more defensive posture here. Like sometimes in wrestling, it's going to be a lot lower, and you can do that for moments in jiu-jitsu. It's just jiu-jitsu is a five-minute match, right? A wrestling match is much shorter. So a lot of people in jiu-jitsu, you notice, will stand a little taller, okay? So find a stance that's comfortable for you. Usually if I'm trying to be much more offensive, right, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to keep my head in a lower position. I'm going to be in a staggered stance. Okay, one thing that is important though, if I'm grappling with Armando, and if I think I wanna stay in this tall, uh, tall stance, but he gets down, his head's below my level, I better get my head down to match his level, all right? I don't need to give him that extra advantage of being closer to my legs than I can to defend him, all right? So make sure as we're doing this, you're kind of changing that head level a little bit, visualizing an opponent, Right, when I'm in my staggered stance, my lead leg arm is protecting this leg, I'm reaching with my back. So I rotate staggered stance, I'm up a little bit, I'm down a little bit, okay? Square stance, right, up, down, stagger. Okay, reaching with that back hand, square, and then stagger, front hand low, back hand ready to reach. Good, just keep switching up those stances. All right, cool. Now Granby roll. All right, up on all fours. I'm gonna take my inside leg, cross it over, and shoulder roll. Okay, I think we all get what this is for by now, so at least everybody on this uh, Zoom. What's up? Good, if you're done four, take a break. Give your brain a break. You guys don't have to rush through it. Do what you need to do. All right, let's do uh, our butt scoots alternating hands. Good, and then alternate back, alternate forward, alternate back. Good, alternate forward, and then double back, alternate forward, and then double back. Good, final roll is rolling for the leg attack. All right, so I think we're good. They're standing up, got the body lock here, right? I'm just gonna roll through to attack the legs. If they have a strong grip, they should fall with you. All right, so I'm rolling through here and then working on my leg attacks or standing up to pass the guard. Okay, try that both sides. Do it four times, then quit. Don't quit, but stop.
Cool. All right, here we go. Now we're working on seat belt grips from turtle position. Okay. Somebody's on my right side here and I'm in turtle. I'm gonna lift my left leg up. I'm gonna sit through, or sorry, I lift my right leg up, which is my inside leg. I'm gonna sit through with my left. Now remember, we also did the dog ping on the fire hydrant thing where we're pushing our shin into their hip and upper thigh area to create a little more space, okay? If you're doing that on a partner, your leg will stay elevated the whole time. If you're doing it solo, you need to put your toe to the floor to get your hip through. So Armando, come over here for a second. All right, so Armando's in position. He's on my left side. So I'm gonna use my left leg, okay? I'm either gonna just widen my leg and sit through here. Yeah, seat belt backwards. <laughs> yeah, blue belt. <laughs> oh, you know why? In wrestling, we use this position. Uh, so there is there is no option. All right. So that's one option, right? The other one is bringing the shin into his hip area here. Then I just like to scoop this arm and sit through like this. Okay. So I can either just raise the knee and sit or scoop the arm and sit. All right, you guys, if we've been doing this long enough with you guys too, um, I'm gonna add the, go ahead and add the second one. He's a little further behind you and you can't get the space to like get in, get that shin on the hip or get the leg up. Make sure, come here Armando, that you just swivel your feet. Put your grip. <laughs> you never get your purple belt. All right, so if he's here and he's staying super tight to my hips and I can't, I can't get the leverage I need. I move my feet out, I find the space. Shin on the hips, or just open the knee, and then I sit through. So let's do four without the swivel and four with the swivel. Okay, let's go. I always catch myself in today in wrestling. <laughs> yeah, that, that's called a Merkel position in wrestling, that opposite uh, seat belt feet. What are you trying to do with that in wrestling? In wrestling, I might have your leg hooked and I'll stretch you out and roll you. I used to try leg to hook with, with, with your leg and the upper body. Yeah, so like, be careful with this leg. Oh. So I might have this one here. Oh, oh yeah. And I'd have you like this. Right. And then roll the ah. And then I'm like getting back points and stuff. And I used to always like my first leg was just to try to choke people. <laughs> right. Did I know how to do it? So come up to side control there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's stuff there. Good spot for that. Yeah. At the time, I didn't know. I used to just sit there and be like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Try to hide. <laughs> People are like, I don't know what you're doing here. Yeah, we can use it that way for this too. We can use it to get the leg in too. Okay. On this side, but step over and put the leg in on the other side. All right, guard standing. Okay, close guard. All right, first of all, in the close guard, I don't have to worry about when the opponent has their legs closed around me, I don't have to worry so much about being swept side to side. Okay, their pressure, their pull is more forward and backwards. Right, so when the guard is closed, I like to keep my knees a little tighter, okay? And, you know, if you've ever been in my open guard and I tell you you're shifting your weight, like you'll do this and you'll have your weight over this leg and then I sweep you, okay? This is different, all right? In that scenario, I want my hips in the middle because the guard is open, so the thread is more side to side. Okay, when the guard's closed, it's more forward and backwards, so I'm not as worried about that. The wider my knees are, the easier it is for me to come forward in my close guard. So I generally will keep them a little closed. I'll switch that up, but I generally keep them a little closed. Now, I'm gonna shift my weight to my right side if I wanna raise up my left leg. Okay, sorry, I'm getting a foot cramp. All right, I'm gonna switch my weight to the right if I wanna lift up my left leg, like this, okay? If I switch my weight, I'm able to keep my posture upright. So I switch to the right, 
I raise to the left. You see how my chest didn't move? What most people will do is they'll lean forward to get weight off their legs. So if I keep a 50-50 weight distribution, there's no way I'm lifting this leg. So people will lean forward, see how my chest is in front of my knees, and then they'll post the leg up. Okay. The problem with that is that if Armando has any sort of head control, or especially if I've got my gi on and he has any lapel control, as soon as my chest comes forward, he's gonna pull with his legs and his arms and get my hands to the floor. Then I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble because he's gonna start underhooking and overhooking my arms and I'm gonna have a tough time getting back. So from here, I can either keep my hands in the rib area, the hips, or the armpits. Usually I'll go armpits if they've got me broken down a little bit, okay? But now I'm gonna stand, all right? Armando, I want you to pull as I stand. So as I shift my weight, everything's very different. Go ahead and grab my head. Can. Good. Yeah, grab what you can. Good. If I shift my weight here, pull, 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 pull. I'm not moving. Okay. Now, the second mistake people make, turn your body this way, is to raise their right leg, the leg that's the knee that's still on the floor, is again, they'll move their chest forward, right? And as I do that, if he pulls, they fall. Okay. So what I want you to do is once I'm here, Go ahead and pull again. I'm gonna swivel my foot out and then lunge. All right, so I make my weight shift, I step up. I go to this lunging position, like I'm gonna run this way. I stand up and then I turn and face, right? I'm gonna keep my shoulders again above my hips or they can even go a little behind. Okay, let's practice that stand up uh, four times, twice each way, and then we'll move on. All right, okay, let's add to that. So after we do the stand, right? Now I want you to, next thing you're gonna do is grab your ankles and try to swear, swear cheap you, I can't even talk. Chair sweep you, okay? So I'm going to kick with one leg, up toward their head and around, kick with the other leg and around, okay? So I'm gonna have you do that four times, then we're gonna do matrix four times. Okay, another one I like, it's probably the one I actually prefer, is when they grab my ankles and open their legs, I come here forward and I move both of my arms, okay? The arm movement is mandatory. All right, I'll show you why, come here. So, Armando's closed guard, we stand, he keeps his guard closed momentarily, okay? He's gonna grab my feet. All right, now the first option is kick, right? Kick, okay? Of course, I don't even need to, if he's keeping his guard closed, sorry. If he's keeping his guard closed, I don't even really need to kick. I can just keep my shoulders over my hips and he's not gonna disrupt my balance, okay? But as soon as he opens his legs, now it's a threat, all right? So I kick, kick, okay? Now, the matrix position, go ahead and lock your guard if you can. When he opens his legs, right, I throw my hips super far forward. Now this time his feet came out, so it's not necessary for me to do the arm movement. What most people will do is as I throw their hips forward, they're gonna try to catch my armpits. And if I just try to get both arms out, it's not gonna be good and I'm gonna lose my balance. I'm gonna come here and here. Then I can work my pass from there. Okay, so let's do it again. I want you to stand up. Twice on each side doing kick, kick. Twice on each side doing the matrix. All right, let's go.
right. Good. Okay. Now we're going to work the um, guard passing stuff. All right. Um, the first, we did some footwork last time. Okay. The first one is a Toriando style pass where I'm kind of crossing. It's similar to an X pass. It's just, I don't have my foot in the middle. Okay, so those of you, who are, actually I know you're familiar with the X-Pass. I usually have my foot in the middle, right? And I'm pushing and pulling and kicking that leg back. It's somewhat similar in this push-pull motion with the, with the knees. Except for that, I'm stepping out at a 45 degree angle forward here, okay? This hand pushes the knee, this leg moves back. Kind of like a bullfighter. Some people call it a bullfighter pass. Right? Stepping in with the knee, go knee on belly. If I do it to the other side, I'm stepping 45 degree angle. If I'm stepping with my left, my left arm pushes in, my other leg comes to the side, right? My feet adjust, knee on belly. So on a live opponent, it looks like this. You usually do this when somebody's laying down on their back, all right? Maybe I have the pants, maybe I just have the knees, maybe I have one knee, one ankle. Okay, I'm gonna step out, step side, push his knee through, make this adjustment. I'm going to the other side, stepping with my left leg, I'm gonna push my left arm through, stepping out, making this adjustment. All right, let's do that twice each side. Are you able to cut an angle and just not complete the whole pass? Or are you able to? Yeah, does he hook your legs at all before? Because if they hook your leg, either one of your legs before, yeah, you're going to do this one like on the fly. Yeah, usually it's like, I usually have to get this side of the end. And sometimes, even if you don't get the full pass, but you get a better angle to pass, like let's say you end up in half guard or something, that's not a total loss, you know? Right. Yeah, it's not one of my favorite passes either. I think it's a little easier in the gi, as you can steer, you know? It's a little more difficult in no gi. I usually just use it to get an angle. Sometimes I can get that leg in quick enough, sometimes I can't, but hopefully I get at least a half guard. Sorry, Ashley's at the gym, Carrie, doing this. So like if I'm looking over there and talking, it's because she came in and talking about the, the, the past. Okay, so the next one is a question mark, all right? This I can use if they're in the seated or if he's laying prone, okay? So he can either be laying down on his back like he just was <coughs> or seated. I'm gonna show you the footwork first. Instead of stepping forward at a 45 degree angle, I'm gonna step directly outside with one leg and I'm gonna question mark my other leg around its knee on belly. So, Armando's here and he's sitting down, right? I can use my hand to check his upper body if I want, but I'm gonna step out directly and come in this way. I'm going to the other side, right? I'm stepping out, bringing that knee around. So it just looks like this by yourself. Side step. Question mark. Sidestep. Question mark. All right, let's do it. Oh, yeah. 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 Exactly. For some reason, 
You might kick him in the face, too. That's the case. <laughs> I ain't listening to get my leg down. That's not good. That's not good. You done with that one, Carrie? You guys good? Don't cut your rep short. It's okay. All right. So now we're going to work on, uh, we're going to talk about sprawling a little bit. Okay. So if somebody's looking like they're going to shoot on us, we don't always want to sprawl. Because if Armando and I are here and he fakes the shot, right? And I sprawl down, I kind of leave myself exposed. Okay. So we're going to start with like, um, I'm going to call it the down block, but Armando, what do you call it in wrestling? Shot block. Shot block, right? So it's the, it's the same move we worked last night where we're just bringing our back leg back, or I'm sorry, our, uh, our front leg back and our front arm to the floor. Okay? So if I do it on Armando, or if Armando does it on me, right, I'm going to shoot or faking a shot. He's moving back, right? Hand to the foot. Do it how you do it in wrestling. Oh, now you move like a cat. <laughs> Good. Okay? So he's just, boom. All right? So he's just getting that out of the way. Maybe I fake, maybe I don't. So if he shoots a real shot, go ahead. And I do catch him here, that's good too. Now I'm pretty much in my full on sprawl position. Okay? So let's just kind of uh, work that. Armando, demo, I wanna watch you do it. The shot block? Yep. So his lead leg goes back, his lead hand touches the floor. Remembering now his point mm -hmm. in sprawling to the knees was off the fake shot too. So if you fake oh. the shot, uh -huh. right? And I sprawl. Oh yeah, that I can get back up and circle. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. You know? Yeah, that for sure. But I don't know. This starts to get a little out of my league when it yeah. comes to the. Yeah. Yeah. No, that 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 makes more sense. That, I do that all the time, especially if I'm going up with John or something. Yeah. He likes those low shots and he'll get me on those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really You're kind of circling as you do it, right? Yeah. Because right, right. in wrestling, a lot of guys will wrestle from like a three point stance too, which is basically like when we're playing on the knees and stuff. Yeah. But they're like freaking fast here. Yeah. All right, cool. Good. Okay. So now we're going to work on like a half sprawl. That's what I'll call it. I don't know what it's really called. All right. So I'm in my wrestling stance. Okay, look, if somebody's committed and they're in on me, I'm going like full sprawl, hard, you know, and then I'm looking to either tie them up with my jiu-jitsu or I'm looking to like circle and get away or maybe circle to their back, all right? Sometimes though, like somebody's low and they're really active, faking a lot of shots, right? And you're gonna just sprawl back to your knees, okay? So I'm sprawling to my knees here, okay? and then I'm gonna circle up, right? Armando, show them how you do it. You're the master. Yeah, just what I do. But your variation. So, is anything different? Oh, no, not really. Circling to the knees and he's circling away. Just like, just like, I mean, when, when we're doing wrestling class, I always tell them, like, when we're sprawling, like here, instead of just popping back up to circle, like here, and then circle yeah. away. Yeah. So, it's kind of the same thing, like what you did, but I'm just always right. circling. So notice how he's moving on his hands and moving away. What you don't want to do is let's say he fakes that shot or he goes for it, and I sprawl here, right? Okay? I mean, I, I would sprawl harder if he was there. But what I don't want to do, the reason that we circle away is if I just try to step up, he's going to grab my leg, even if he fakes the shot. He fakes the shot, right? I come down to my knee. If I just step up like this, well, now he has, the, now he has my leg again. Okay, so we're here, right? And I'm moving and circling, kind of like just bear crawling around to get back up. So let's try that. Where well, we're here, right? I'm getting my lead leg away from him. So as I move, I'm kind of sprawling and circling a little bit to my right. And then I'm up, walking around.
Good. Okay, and then of course you have your full sprawl, right? Where I'm getting the front leg out of the way. I'm trying to get my hip to the floor, right? Where I'm sprawling down here. Hip nice and tight. You know, he's kind of, he's maybe into my legs a little deeper than I'm comfortable with. So I'm really trying to leverage him away with getting my hips lower than his head, okay? So if Armando is here and he gets in on my legs like this, this is a real problem for me. More than likely, if I haven't sprawled already, yes, I can recover, but it's gonna be very difficult, okay? So when I know that shot is on and I know I've given up like a split second, I'm gonna come down and fully sprawl, trying to keep my shoulder weight on his head and stay onto my toes. Okay, in wrestling here, you're primarily looking to cross face and spin around. In jiu-jitsu, you have a lot of options, right? I have my head and arm guillotine choke where I'd set the guard from here, okay? I've got my anaconda choke where I roll through. I've got a lot of different options, all right? So this time, I just want you moving, okay? Sprawling, don't jump up like that. <laughs> Sprawling. And again, circling, right? Sprawling and circling. I'm so not used to standing up because I'm just gonna yeah. stay there and work guillotine or whatever. I really need a bigger living room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got a definite finish potentially coming there, you know. Good. All right, time. Any questions for me? Awesome. Um, thank you so much for attending. Let me know if you guys need anything, all right? Thanks, Lainey. Appreciate it. Right. Bye, Carrie. Bye, Carrie. See you later tonight. All right, sounds See good. See you tonight.